From the dark depths of ancient Greece emerge mythical creatures, born of legend and steeped in mystery. Gaze upon the majestic Pegasus, soar alongside the fierce griffin, and fear the bloodthirsty Minotaur. Witness the power of the Titans and the wrath of the Aranyas. These are the tales of mystical creatures and monsters, of heroes and villains, of a world long lost but never forgotten. Half man, half horse, the centaur's existence is a balance between two worlds. Their human intellect and physical prowess are enhanced by their equine qualities, creating a being of great skill and power. Yet, the centaur's nature is both wild and noble, and they are often caught between the realms of civilization and nature. Giants, born of the earth itself, are creatures of raw strength and incredible size. These behemoths often represented chaos and destruction, the antithesis of the ordered world created by the gods. While some giants could be tamed or reasoned with, they represent the primal forces of nature. The Minotaur was a creature with the head of a bull and the body of a man. The Minotaur was kept in a labyrinth built by the skilled craftsman Deadless, where he was fed human sacrifices as tribute. The Minotaur's savagery and monstrous appearance spoke to the dark potential lurking within all humans. Beautiful and deadly, the siren's song calls to the deepest desires of men, leading them to their doom. These creatures of the sea possess a power beyond measure, luring sailors to their death and forever haunting the imaginations of those who hear their songs. The Hydra, a serpent with multiple heads, is a creature of almost infinite power. Every time one of its heads is cut off, two more take its place. This monster represents the dangers of overconfidence and the importance of considering the long-term consequences of one's actions. Koboloi, also known as the mischief makers, were mischievous creatures that loved to play pranks on people. They enjoyed causing chaos and confusion, often leading travelers astray or stealing food from unwary villagers. Although they could be troublesome, they were not typically seen as malevolent creatures and were sometimes even considered helpful to those who showed them kindness. The echidna embodies the chaotic nature of the natural world and the hidden dangers that lurk beneath the surface. She was the mother of many legendary creatures, including Cerberus, the three-headed hound that guarded the underworld, and the Hydra, a multi-headed serpent that terrorized many heroes. Echidna was said to dwell in a cave and was feared by mortals and immortals alike. The harpy, with the body of a bird and the face of a woman, is a symbol of vengeance and retribution. These creatures, with their razor-sharp claws and piercing screams, are the agents of divine punishment. They remind us that there are consequences to our actions, and that justice must be served. The Titans were a group of powerful deities who ruled before the Olympian gods. They were said to be the children of Gaia, the Earth, and Uranus, the Sky, and were known for their great strength and size. The Sphinx, with the body of a lion and the head of a human, is a creature of riddles and mysteries. It guards the entrance to the unknown, testing those who would venture beyond. Its enigmatic presence reminds us that knowledge must be earned, and that the greatest truths are often hidden. The Griffin, with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle, is a creature of duality. It is both a symbol of strength and a protector of wisdom, embodying the balance between the physical and the intellectual. The griffin's presence represents the power and majesty of the natural world. The Pegasus, with its wings of purest white and its ability to soar beyond the bounds of the earth, is a creature of inspiration and hope. It represents the limitless potential of the human spirit and the possibility of achieving greatness through perseverance and determination. The Cerberus, with its three heads and serpentine tail, is the guardian of the underworld. This fierce creature's presence reminds us of the inevitability of death and the need to confront our deepest fears. It is a symbol of the eternal struggle between life and death and the transformative power of passing beyond the veil. The satyr, with its goat-like features and irrepressible spirit, is a creature of passion and exuberance. It revels in the pleasures of the physical world, reminding us of the importance of joy and sensuality. 
but it also embodies the danger of excess and the need to find balance in all things. The Gorgon, with its serpentine hair and petrifying gaze, is a creature of terror and mystery. It is a symbol of the destructive power of fear and the need to confront our deepest phobias. But it is also a reminder of the transformative power of facing our darkest selves. With their single, all-seeing eye, the Cyclops are beings of great power and insight. Though often depicted as brutish or simple, these giants possess a deep knowledge of the world around them, and their skill as craftsmen is unmatched. They remind us of the value of individual perspective and expertise. The chimera, with its lion's body, goat's head, and serpent's tail, represents the chaos and destruction that come with unchecked ambition. This monster breathes fire, leaving devastation in its wake. But it is also a symbol of the creative energy that can emerge from combining disparate elements. Serenian Hind, the Serenian Hind, with its golden antlers and lightning fast speed, is a creature of grace and agility. It was said to be so swift and elusive that it could outrun an arrow in flight and was thus impossible to catch. It embodies the power of nature and the ever-changing flow of life. Its pursuit symbolizes the pursuit of the unattainable and the transformative power of the chase. Empusa is a demoness known for her ability to shapeshift into various forms. She typically takes the form of a beautiful woman to seduce men and then feeds on their blood. She has one bronze leg, one donkey leg, and a leg made of brass. Its presence reminds us of the importance of remaining vigilant and aware, even in the midst of great darkness. Hecatonchires were three giants with a hundred arms and fifty heads each. They were born to the primordial deities Gaia and Uranus, and were known for their immense strength and power. They embody the limitless possibilities of the human spirit and the transformative power of determination and persistence. Arachne was a talented weaver who boasted of her skills and challenged the goddess Athena to a weaving contest. Despite creating a masterpiece, Arachne's tapestry depicted the god's misdeeds, which enraged Athena. The goddess transformed Arachne into a spider, and she was cursed to spin webs for the rest of her life. Arachne's story is often interpreted as a cautionary tale against hubris and the dangers of challenging the gods. The Caledonian boar, with its razor-sharp tusks and fearsome strength, is a creature of wildness and danger. Its pursuit is a reminder of the importance of courage and the willingness to face our deepest fears. Its defeat symbolizes the transformative power of the hunt and the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. The Kyrs, with their bloodthirsty nature and unquenchable hunger, are creatures of chaos and destruction. Kyrs were female spirits of death and destruction who delighted in violence and bloodshed. In battle, they were said to fly above the fighting warriors, snatching away the souls of those who fell in combat. The Carquinos is a crab, with its enormous size and impenetrable shell, is a creature of resilience and determination. Its presence reminds us of the importance of adaptability and the need to be able to weather the storms of life. Its defeat symbolizes the transformative power of perseverance and the ability to overcome even the greatest challenges. Cretan Bull, the Cretan Bull, with its massive horns and indomitable strength, is a creature of power and majesty. It represents the untamed nature of the world and the beauty and danger that coexist within it. Laden, with its many heads and serpent's tail, is a creature of mystery and intrigue. Its presence represents the unknown and the need to venture beyond the bounds of the familiar. He guarded the golden apples in the Garden of the Hesperides. Sharon, with his skeletal frame and tattered robes, is a creature of darkness and mystery. He is the ferryman of the river Styx, guiding the souls of the dead to the underworld. His presence reminds us of the inevitability of death and the importance of embracing the unknown. The Nemean Lion, with its impenetrable hide and razor-sharp claws, is a symbol of both power and invincibility. This beast, born of the gods, was feared and revered, and its defeat was seen as a testament to the strength of the hero who vanquished it. 
The Aaron Yes, also known as the Furies, were three goddesses of vengeance who punished those who had committed heinous crimes such as murder, perjury, and oath-breaking. The Aaron Yes were relentless in their pursuit of justice, and their wrath was said to be so powerful that even the gods themselves feared them. They served as a reminder that justice must be served and that even the most powerful are not above the law. The Dryad, with her delicate features and ethereal beauty, is a creature of nature and the spirit of the forest. She embodies the interconnectedness of all living things and the need to live in harmony with the world around us. Her presence reminds us of the importance of respecting and preserving the natural world. The Hesperides, with their golden apples and magical garden, are creatures of wonder and enchantment. They represent the treasures of the earth and the possibility of abundance and prosperity. Their presence reminds us of the importance of embracing the abundance that surrounds us and cultivating a spirit of gratitude and appreciation. The Naiad, with her flowing hair and liquid grace, is a creature of water and the spirit of the river. She embodies the transformative power of the flowing waters and the importance of adapting to change. Her presence reminds us of the need to go with the flow and trust in the journey of life. The Hippocampus, with its horse's body and fish's tail, is a creature of the sea and the power of the unknown depths. It embodies the possibility of transformation and the importance of embracing the mysteries of the world. Its presence reminds us of the importance of exploration and the need to venture beyond the boundaries of the known. The manticore, with its lion's body and scorpion's tail, is a creature of danger and ferocity. It represents the darker side of human nature and the potential for destruction and violence. Its presence reminds us of the importance of self-control and the need to cultivate compassion and empathy in the face of danger. Scylla, with her many heads that could snatch sailors from their ships and serpent's tail, is a creature of the sea and the embodiment of danger and fear. Her lair was in a rocky cave, where she would wait for unsuspecting sailors to pass by. Charybdis, with her enormous maw as a massive whirlpool that sucks in everything in its path, including ships and sailors. She has endless appetite, is a creature of chaos and destruction. Her presence represents the need to remain vigilant and aware in the face of danger. Phoenix, a magnificent bird that symbolizes rebirth and renewal, the phoenix was said to live for centuries before igniting itself in a great blaze and then being reborn from its own ashes. Scythian Draconi were known for their ability to breathe deadly poison, and their mere presence was enough to strike fear into the hearts of mortals. They were often associated with dark magic and were believed to be powerful sorceresses who could control the elements and summon spirits from the underworld. Silene, these mischievous woodland spirits were often depicted as drunken companions of the wine god, Dionysus. They had the legs and tails of horses or donkeys, and their antics often caused chaos and laughter. Ouroboros is a serpent eating its own tail. The Ouroboros represents cyclical renewal, eternal return, and the infinite nature of existence. The Moirai, also known as the Fates, were three goddesses who controlled the destiny of mortals. Clotho spun the thread of life, Lachesis measured it, and Atropus cut it, determining the lifespan of every individual. Ari were the female spirits of curses and imprecations in ancient Greek mythology. They were often invoked in rituals to inflict harm upon enemies, and were associated with the underworld and the goddess Hecate. The Ari were believed to have the power to bring bad luck, misfortune, and sickness upon those who had broken oaths or committed crimes. Basilisk was a venomous serpent. It was said to be the king of serpents, capable of killing with a single glance or breath. According to legend, its venom could turn rocks to dust, and its gaze could cause plants to wither and animals to die. Mermaid, half woman, half fish, mermaids were said to inhabit the oceans and seas. They are beautiful and alluring, with a mesmerizing voice that could draw sailors to their doom. Stymphalian birds have bronze beaks, sharp metallic feathers, and could shoot their feathers as deadly projectiles. These birds were sacred to the goddess Artemis, and their droppings were toxic to humans. 
Unicorns, these mythical creatures were said to be pure and virtuous, with a single spiraled horn on their forehead. Unicorns were believed to possess magical powers, and were often sought after for their healing properties. Their elusive nature made them a symbol of purity and grace. Telkines were sea spirits who were skilled metalworkers and craftsmen. They were said to have taught humans the art of metallurgy, but were also believed to be dangerous and malevolent beings who could bring storms and destruction.